DC here. Hi, guys and gals. Well, it's Monday, and Monday is often the tag day. I've just finished doing the Jasmine tag, and this is going to be Dave's seven question tag. So, Dave Nicholson. So, let me see. I've got them here. Uh, what country, question one, what country would you like to visit the most? And would you live there if given the chance? Okay, I've answered this one before. Um, I, I really like visiting Ireland. I like, I've indirectly lived there, you know, uh, in the sense that I would go there seven, eight times a year. Uh, and each time would be between a week and 10 days. Um, got to know people, got to know places. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really like it. That's a place I like to live. Uh, would I like to live there? Probably yes, I say that. Uh, you know, there's always things. I've been there enough to know what are the weaknesses and what are the strengths also of the place. And uh, no, it certainly would not be a bad place to live, that's for sure. And the people are nice. Okay. Question two. Could you imagine, can you imagine your life without technology? Uh, in today's world, no. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, we were all people of my age, um, technology was, you know, uh, 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 was a Walkman. No, Walkman didn't even exist when I was a kid. You know, it was like, <clears throat> we didn't even have tape recorders, you know, or things like that. Um, telephones were on the wall and, and stuff like that. I mean, you know, so we knew, we knew what it was to really live without technology. But I mean, we, we thought that technology was, uh, if you had a, a stereo system, you know, that had, uh, uh, that was slightly different, you know, from just no crank recorder. I'm, I'm barely exaggerating. So, yeah, I've known what a world without technology was, but I would not imagine my life today without it, that's for sure. Look what I'm doing right now. Question three. If you could give a big hug to someone right now, who would it be and why? Uh, I'm doing this on the Monday following Father's Day. So, yeah, I think I'd give a big hug to my dad. Because, you know, he's been passed away now for a few years. And, yeah, it would be great to be able to do that. Yeah. Question four. If you failed and had to start again from scratch, whom would you run to for help? Uh, you know, I, I think actually it would be my wife. Um, we've spent, you know, already 50 years of our life together, not counting the years, I mean, the years that we were married and the years we've been uh, as a boyfriend, girlfriend. And basically, I mean, we go to each other. Yeah. Well, I'll leave it at that. Five. Question five. If your life could be made into a movie, would it be interesting to watch and would you watch it? I think I've answered this question before. It'd be mildly interesting, I guess, you know. Country local studies, emigrates, and ends up living uh, in a foreign country. His kids marry, uh, he has grandkids, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> it would not be a top hit, but yeah. I guess it'd be partially interesting. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going pretty quickly for these ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, question six. If you reached a ripe old age of 80, could you say to yourself that you lived a full life and you did your the best if you could? You know, I don't know when this was written, but uh, most people today live later than 80, you know, now. Ripe old age of 80 is nice, but I know a lot of people that are up to 80 now, and, uh, you know, I think I'd rather say the ripe old age of 90, but whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, I think, actually, I'm quite happy with the life that we've had. Uh, was it a full life? I think in many aspects it was, but it was a life, you know, that was uh, was happy in most cases not all the time uh and did i do the best that i could almost 
I can think of certain things in my life where I could have done better, but uh, almost. And finally, overall, uh, I am happy with the way uh, my life and our life has evolved. Will I be happy at 80? That is in 15 years. So, <clears throat> I hope so. I hope my health will be there. But yeah, you know, uh, answering at 65 for the person who will be 80, and if it's similar to what I'm living now, the answer would be yes. Question seven, what is the perfect adventure for you? When I was a bit younger, it used to be a road trip. Uh, and the road trip would simply be going off somewhere. We didn't know where we'd sleep. We had, our, we had a tent. We'd end up sleeping in a camping somewhere. We'd go fishing and stuff like that. That was a perfect adventure for me then. Now, it'd probably be a road trip in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that'll be it actually. I think that I have answered the seven questions in maybe a less inadequate matter, but yeah, that's it. So it'll be DC signing off. Thanks again, Dave, for this tag. DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.